Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here with an update on my uh, Ivor Johnson Champion project, and uh, just gonna show you what I've done so far. Now, uh, I did a video a little while back on the rust removal, where I uh, got most of the rust off. There's still, I mean, you can still see uh, pitting and all that, but most of the rust is is gone, especially that one really bad rust spot that was right here. You can feel uh, the difference in the uh, finish of the barrel where the uh, bluing came off. Um, but yeah, most of the rust came off pretty well actually. And also, I got the uh, latch spring fixed. So it uh, has a uh, much more positive lockup and uh, locks up <clears throat> pretty good. And also, I don't think I, I showed this in the last video, but the ejector or the extractor slash ejector, uh, I got that fixed. And let me uh, take the gun apart and I'll show you exactly how that. Uh, how I fix that now. Uh, how you take this apart, again you uh, take the forend off, you just pull it off and you set that aside and then you pull the barrel off. Now, okay, so this is the locking system here for the ejector so that, you know, when you uh, you open it up so far and then it pushes these two pins up and it would eject the shell out. <clears throat> now, basically those two pins would catch on the inside of the receiver here, kind of where it's where it's ground out here. I don't know if you can see this, this is kind of a bad lighting angle, but it basically just ground out over time and uh, um, just wouldn't work anymore because there had nothing to to grab onto. So that made the ejector basically ineffective. So basically what we did was we shoved a little piece of plastic down here um, into the locking mechanism to keep it at spring tension all the time. Um, so basically it's, it's uh, you know, you lock it up and it would stay pushed in when it was in the gun and then you open the action and then it comes out and it just pushes it out a little way so you can pull the shell out and uh, extract it. <clears throat> Basically what this little piece of plastic is is the end of a pen cap. We just shoved a, a pen cap in there and uh, cut the end off and it basically is just jammed in there and if it ever comes out I can always just jam another piece of uh, pen cap in there and uh, it'll be good to go. But that's uh, what I have done on this project so far. If I can get the uh, gun put back together, put the forearm on. Uh, actually, uh, next, basically what I'm going to do is uh, one thing is I'm going to try and fix this split. Uh, I went to my great uncle today for the uh, latch spring and I asked him <clears throat> I asked him what he suggested for this split and he said to take the uh, metal parts out and uh, put some glue in here and just kinda squeeze it together and uh, put some rubber bands and, and stuff around that to keep it uh, uh, put pressure on it so that it, it could dry and then uh, just sand away the glue and uh, refinish and and all that, put the metal pieces back on uh, and it would be good to go from there. And that's uh, that was his suggestion on how to fix that so I'll probably work on that maybe tomorrow or this weekend. And then also I have let me grab it. I have a uh, 
butt plate and uh, of course the screws for the butt plate and I got all the parts for this on um, Numerich Gun Parts which I think is gunpartscorp.com or something but it, it's called Numerich Gun Parts and then here you got the old Iber Johnson uh, butt plate it's plastic and uh, the holes line up and it fits pretty well along the sides and along the top but it, it overhangs just a little bit on the bottom so I'm gonna have to uh, trim this up and sand it down and uh, get it to fit and that'll also be uh, a project for this weekend but uh, that other than that that's pretty much all I have left to do on this shotgun it's a, it's a pretty good shotgun. Um, I would I don't, you probably wouldn't consider it a classic, but uh, it's it's really old, probably maybe the 20s, um, and it's not in horrible condition. Um, I mean, yeah, it is in pretty bad condition, but I've definitely seen guns in, in way worse condition, especially with the uh, the condition of the wood. The fore end is is pretty beat up and split but the the stock the stock is really not in that bad of shape the uh, finish is you can feel it uh, worn off but uh, there's really no cracks uh, in the stock of course you got a lot of scratches and and stuff like that but uh, I might put some some linseed oil on it to uh, put put a more uh, shinier glossy finish on it but uh, yeah uh, I hope to get this done by Christmas time I don't know that that's going to be a reality um, but this is basically kind of my Christmas present to my grandfather was to fix up this gun and uh, <clears throat> we'll see if I can get it done by Christmas time if not uh, I guess I'll give it to him uh, after New Year's sometime but anyway that's what I got done on the project so far uh, you can see before and after pictures on uh, my Facebook page. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.